Hi guys, it's lesson 4 now. And last lesson, we have covered how to add the backdrop and how to make the cat moving in to the screen and then make all the characters move up from the screen at the last scene. And today we are going to do more on how to make a story. Third lesson, we make the motion and animation together so make it more lively when moving the cat into the scene or move them up from the screen. And we also cover how to add background music for both of them. Now I want you to start constructing your own story because all starts from an idea. I give an example. So this is the story I can think of. A cat is talking to a penguin in desert. The cat says that the desert is very hot and asks if can we want to switch place. The penguin agreed and switched to Arctic. Then the cat follow penguin, but after that the cat complained it's too cold. Then before we go to the last scene, the cat will go back to the bedroom and the penguin won't follow the cat. Now we want to set up a scene. What we need is two characters, one is cat and one is penguin. You can just choose it from your scratch inside the sprites which is free and we have desert, arctic and bedroom for the background. Now we understand set up the scene. So this one may look very complicated but if you know, if you understand what I'm doing, it will make sense to you. Now we are going to set the cat to move to the scene. So the cat will go into the first scene before the penguin join. Now this is the programming. Like last time we, we said, we need to show and go to this position, point in direction. We set up the first thing first. Means this is to set the cat from outside from the scene. Okay, it will be like this. The cat will move from here to the center or around to the center here before the penguin move in. Then after do the animation and move the cat into here approximately, then it will broadcast a message to ask the penguin to come in. I will write penguin in one for this. So you will see this is the program about the cat moving into the scene. This is the motion part and this is the animation part. If you don't know what I'm saying, you can go back to the lesson tree and go check back uh, what, what, what is the motion and what is the animation. So I make it parallel and when we click the start, the penguin will move to this position. This is the end. The position of this is at approximately this side. So the penguin is hidden over here before he comes in. So it will be hidden. And when he receives the cat sending a signal, penguin in one, this is asking the penguin to go in. Now the penguin is going to switch back to the left side. Okay, so this time the penguin will have two sides. Three animation is for the left and three animations for the right. But the cat only have right side. And now the penguin need to go switch to costume facing to the left and this is the motion going in from the right side to the center and this is the animation why I don't use next costume is because the costumes in the penguin includes both direction so if you keep switching like this when the penguin moving in to the scene you will see the penguin sometimes will facing to the right sometimes facing to the left so we are only make it switching the animation only for the left side so just switching these three so you will see the penguin moving in like this okay so now it's the cat's turn when a cat receives cat's turn one after the penguin move in the cat will do something like this saying wow why not let's go and broadcast penguin too and signal the penguin's turn. Now it's the penguin's turn. You can pause for a while if you can't follow it. You can pause for a while and then you drag uh, which is applicable in the programming blocks. So when receive penguin 2 means the cat's already done saying uh, cat's already done saying let's go and penguin will say follow me and broadcast a thing called follow penguin. This is to ask the cat to follow the penguin moving from the center to the right means this time is to make the cat and penguin move out from the scene so that they can go to the arctic scene so switch to right so you know when going to the right side the penguin need to face right so you will switch this one is animation for going to the right 
and this is the motion going to the right. When penguin reach the edge, and it will hide itself, so you will see like the penguin disappear from the scene. And after receive follow penguin, the cat will also follow penguin to move to the right side and then disappear at the end. Then after after the cat disappear, okay, then you will see there is a broadcast function over here to ask the backdrop to change the scene to Arctic. So you may ask why why the penguin here don't have the broadcast function? It's because the penguin will move to the will leave the screen first before the cat leaving. So the last one is the cat leaving. Before the cat leaves the scene, it won't change. Only after the cat disappear from the screen, it will change to scene Arctic. And after scene Arctic, you will see because the penguin is leaving from here to the right. Then if you want to change the scene, I will make the penguin to move in from here. Just imagine this is the desert and the arctic is at the right side so the penguin will move from the left to right so you will see the end result of this so hot today hot wanna go to my place yeah why not let's go and penguin will ask cat to follow them and go up and the penguin is moving in from here to here and cat also following so you will see something like this he will go to negative Previously is a positive, positive is a right side and negative is a totally left side and he will show point in direction 90 and move in and this is the animation, I don't need to explain anymore and say this one and broadcast cat's turn now you will see the cat when receive scene arctic he will wait for 2 seconds because the cat needs to wait for the penguin to go in first then to make it like the cat is following the penguin so wait for 2 seconds means the 2 seconds the penguin is moving in after 2 seconds the cat will follow so also from here and switch costume design animation and repeat function then next the penguin will say welcome to my place and cat will reply uh, it's too cold here I want to go to my bedroom so when a cat receives cat's turn 2 it will wait for 0 0.5 seconds and say these words and broadcast this why why do I need to hide the cat over here? Because I want to change the object. Actually, you can make it like the costume over here. You can duplicate like this and make it like the like the penguin itself. Two is facing to the right and two is facing to the left. Because previously, when I do this, I used to use the next costume. So it would be hectic for me to change it because I want to change here, here, here. So to make it simple, I just create another one. I just do it like this duplicate and create another one and I go to costume and switch flip this one so that it is facing to the left okay that adds some programming so when I start this sprite will hide because all the while the cat is only facing right until the cat wants to leave I think because the cat is going to face to the left side so now is to change the cat to another sprite the left sprite so the left sprite will be like this at the start he will hide himself then only receive go to bedroom the cat right will hide and this one will show these things will make it happen like the cat switching the direction to the left so show make sure your cat left is starting at a position where the cat's right stop and when receive this, this one is animation and this one is moving to the left. And the last scene is already going to the bedroom. Now this scene will change to bedroom. Uh, remember when the scene changed to bedroom, because the penguin is not following, so the penguin will hide himself. And this is the left side. When the scene changed to bedroom, the cat will move from the right to the left. So you need to make sure how your story is going to present. And this is to go to this place and point in direction 90. And moving to the left side is negative 10. If you move to the right side, it's positive. So this is coordination. And this is animation. And besides, you need to program your backdrops. That's why I create something like the scene. The broadcast, the scene, update, broadcast, the scene, bedroom. 
the scene bedroom and when you click start it will switch backdrop to desert then when receive scene artist it will switch it will switch this one and i haven't add a background music and you can add yourself this one uh, no problem so you can watch the story now the story will be like this let's make it full screen and i restart it so hot today hot i'm gonna go to my place this one you can record yourself and put into put into the penguin there or even if you know the extension of the sound the sound extension you can make it like speaking i'm not sure it's a sound extension or speech extension you can add yourself so you will cover, i will cover it uh during the zoom online class so this is the storyline so the cat will meet the penguin in the desert then follow the penguin to the arctic after that the cat will go back to his bedroom that's all uh, if you want some creative stories you can go to you can go to google and search some meme or some story or some trailer now it's your turn to try yourself so i'll give us an assignment for lesson four you research for a meme or any video that interests you through youtube or google or any other platform try to make some of the scenes into scratch you don't need to be complicated just some some uh, short story so the tips i want to give you is you can search for an mv that's called music video and just do the chorus part and make it like very attractive and interesting and the second one is search for a meme from instagram and make the meme into a short story it's a funny thing you can do a movie trailer like Iron Man, Avenger, Transformers that's uh, what, uh, what people like and search for the cartoons that you like make a short story for that so if you like Pop Up Girl or Power Ranger or any, any other kind of things or Spongebob you can do a short story for that and practice makes perfect and if you have any questions you can leave the comment below I will reply you uh, thank you for joining the lesson I see you in the next lesson Thank you.